Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park West. Nine races on the Friday program here today. Mother Nature much more cooperative than yesterday, so we'll get you caught up now on the track and weather conditions. Line. All set. And they're off at Gulfstream Park West. Scarlet O'Mara from in between runners. Ask for speed. Storm and Charlotte at the rail. Storm and Charlotte, a nose in front. Scarlett O'Mara in second. Reagan's Odyssey trying to drop down from the outside post. Now sits in third. Thinking of Mom is in fourth. Spring Spirit in fifth. And behind that, wild about Jass. Pearls for girls. Lady Nura going to run from off the pace today. And the trailer going wide was Mama Cheetah. Mama Cheetah not handling that turn very well. Storm and Charlotte is up front, and Storm and Charlotte's got the lead, three quarters of a length. Reagan's Odyssey has moved up nicely into the second spot. It's about two lengths back to thinking of Mom, who's inside of Scarlet O'Mara, wild about Jass, a bit wide in the fifth spot. Spring Spirit has dropped back to sixth. Pearls for girls in seventh. Lady Nura, second to last. The trailer, Mama Cheetah. As so move towards the half mile pole, it's still Storm and Charlotte with the lead. Storm and Charlotte now only a head lead as Reagan's Odyssey has moved into it well, still sits in second, two lengths back still to Thinking of Mom. Scarlet O'Mara in between runners, wild about Jazz. Three wide move, Spring Spirit is gonna need a way through as they move into the far turn. Pearls for Girls is being asked for the effort. Lady Nura is beginning to start a rally from the back. Mama Cheetah far out of it. As they approach the quarter mile mark, Storm and Charlotte and Reagan's Odyssey. Thinking of Mom, and the red cap is going to need a way through, and here comes Thinking of Mom to swing out wide as Reagan's Odyssey has taken the lead. Thinking of Mom with the outside, Spring Spirit down at the rail. Storm and Charlotte has found more, and here's Storm and Charlotte with a head in front. Spring Spirit, though, is streaking up the rail. Here comes Spring Spirit after Storm and Charlotte. Thinking of Mom out wide. Spring Spirit, Storm and Charlotte, Storm and Charlotte, resilient Storm and Charlotte, Spring Spirit. Very tight photo. Storm and Charlotte, Spring Spirit. Thinking of Mom finished third. Late run. Reagan's Odyssey and Lady Nura in a photo for fourth and one thirty nine flat. And they're off. Call to Honor breaks well in the yellow cap from the inside and quickly Call to Honor is up by two. Wildcat Wish up on the outside moves into the second spot. He's Cotton is gonna be wide in the red cap as they try to get closer to that pace setter. Ikatiro is now about a length and a half in behind those leaders in the fourth position. The trailer is Imperial Warrior. Call to Honor broke well, but Wildcat Wish has given the company now and Wildcat Wish head and head with Call to Honor They've got four furlongs left to go. Ikatiro is moving up inside a He's Cotton as those four have separated and put about five lengths on Imperial Warrior as they move into the far turn. Call to Honor and Wildcat Wish. Call to Honor fights right back and puts ahead in front. Wildcat Wish back to second. Ikatiro still moves pretty well in the third position inside a He's Cotton. Far, far back to Imperial Warrior. Quarter mile left to go. Call to Honor and Wildcat Wish. Here comes the challenge from Ikatiro. Ikatiro is now swung out wide. Wildcat Wish has put a nose in front, but Ikatiro sat off that pace, and Ikatiro's run right by those pace setters. Call to Honor fighting back on the inside. Wildcat Wish trying to get back into the second spot. He's Cotton dropped back to fourth, but it's Ikatiro and Eddie Castro to win. Tight for second, Wildcat Wish and Call to Honor. He's Cotton finished fourth, then one, 16 and three.
and they're off. Gautier breaks well from in between runners at the rail. My Bucky's boy, Kate Dynasty, under a tight hold, but is moving up with those leaders. Hope Town is trying to get up in that speed mix as well as Gautier has the lead. Hope Town wants to get up closer. Hope Town tight hold right now by the right by the rider up on the outside cape dynasty now takes the third position my bucky's boy is in fourth in the fifth spot is beneficiary inside of that is raptor followed by gun street they're followed by zarmo second to last is pontificate and the trailer is don patrol as they move around that first turn gautier calling the shots up front up by three quarters of a length cape dynasty stalking in second my bucky's boy in third Hope Town trying to settle down a bit. Now sits in the fourth spot, three lengths off that leader. Inside is Raptor. Outside of that is Beneficiary, who's now moved up a spot. Gun Street begins to progress from the seventh position. Still in behind that is Zarmo. Second to last now is Don Patrol and the trailer Pontificate. Less than a half mile to go. Gautier still with the lead. Gautier now up by a length. Cape Dynasty has been there all the way. Cape Dynasty still in second. My Bucky's boy is now making up ground on the inside. My Bucky's boy and beneficiary, Hope Town, has dropped back to fifth. Quarter mile left to go. Gautier has the lead. Cape Dynasty's been right there all the way. They went a bit wide, and My Bucky's boy has a seam to run through. Beneficiary's looking for room. Gautier with a neck lead. My Bucky's boy at the rail. Cape Dynasty getting loose late as beneficiary. Hope Town running on as well. My Bucky's boy is taking the lead. Gautier fighting back, but My Bucky's boy is getting the rail and wins. Gautier finished second, got tight for third. Beneficiary outside of Cape Dynasty. Hope Town for fifth in one, 38 and three. Broken a good line. Eclipse Auto has asked for speed at the rail. Bocati will challenge as well. Up on the outside, Starship Apollo and Magnanimous Mine now puts ahead in front, but Eclipse Auto comes right back. It's a pressured pace early. Bocati is in there as Starship Apollo has dropped off the pace now to sit in fourth. And behind that is High Dandy and the trailer, Phil's Comprise, who's about 12 lengths off those leaders, and the leader is Eclipse Auto. Eclipse Auto. Had to work to get there, but Eclipse Auto's now put a length on Bocati, who's right there in second in the purple cap. Out wide, Magnanimous Mine stalks from third, about three lengths back to High Dandy and Starship Apollo, and the trailer far, far back fills comprise. Eclipse Auto into the far turn, but Bocati is presenting the challenge, and here comes Bocati to put a nose in front of Eclipse Auto, who tries to fight back. Magnanimous Mine, it's gotta go from third. Starship Apollo has made up some ground, and Starship Apollo is now moving into it from the fourth spot. Less than a quarter mile to go. Eclipse Sato and Bocati. Bocati has now put ahead in front. Eclipse Sato fights right back. Starship Apollo, high dandy, if even getting into it late. Starship Apollo is coming after Bocati and Eclipse Sato. 16th to go. It's Eclipse Sato who's finding more. Bocati right there on the outside. Bocati, Eclipse Sato. Bocati will get up to win. Eclipse Sato finished second. Starship Apollo third. High dandy finished fourth in one, 17 and two. Gelfenstein asked for speed from the inside, and Gelfenstein out to the front. Dreaming of Clarice is in second. Won't let that leader get away. Trying to drop down from the third spot is Dominate, who's going to be wide inside of that Mr. Ellie. Now squeezing through is Britannia's Moat, trying to take that third position. Is going very wide was Crazy Frank C. Towards the back is Zippy Zappy and Mr. Ellie, as it's Gelfenstein setting the pace, and Gelfenstein quickly up by a length and a half. Dreaming of Clarice is in second. Moving up on the outside is Dominate in third. 
at the rail. Tight hole for Britannia's Moat. Britannia's Moat stocking well in the fourth position, and there's about a gap of about five lengths to Zippy Zappy Heart Doctor. Crazy Frank C. and the trailer, Mr. Ellie Gelfenstein, is going to try and take them all the way. Gelfenstein continues to lead and has widened the margin just a little bit, but coming up on the outside of Dreaming of Clarice's Dominate and Dominate is making the move into the second spot. Britannia's Moat still tightly at the rail, now moves into the third position. Zippy Zappy Heart Doctor running on. Crazy Frank C, Mr. Elliot at the back. It's Gelfenstein's race to lose. Gelfenstein still up by a length. Dominate in second. Zippy Zappy coming out wide. Britannia's moat's got to get going from there. Gelfenstein with the lead. Dominate getting there with every stride. Britannia's moat trying to rally. Zippy Zappy up on the outside. Gelfenstein holds on to the lead. Gelfenstein now still up by a length. Britannia's moat. Zippy Zappy on the outside. Gelfenstein. Dean will get there. Zippy Zappy on the outside for second. For Tanius Moat third. Dominate finished fourth. Then Heart Doctor fifth. Then one, 31 and three. for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. Lucent Lady breaks well from the outside, so does Mama Splash from in between runners. And here comes first distinction at the rail. Those three show the early speed. Don't tell Vanessa. Now sits in the fourth spot. Outside of that is Tormenta Di Oro. They're followed by Elusive Harmony, second to last, Candy's Lady. And the trailer miss away as they move down the back stretch. First distinction is up by three quarters of a length. Mama Splash back to second. Wide trip for Lucent Lady in third in the yellow cap. Don't tell Vanessa. Is now progressing from fourth, Tormenta Di Oro is asked for the question a bit from fifth. Still in behind that elusive harmony, Miss Away is second to last, and Candy's Lady is the trailer as they move into the far turn. First distinction, still calling the shots. Mama Splash in second, here comes Lucent Lady trying to re-rally, now three wide. Don't tell Vanessa is gonna need a way through. Tormenta Di Oro still fifth as they hit the top of the stretch. First distinction, the one to catch. Here coming at the rail is Miss Away with a huge run. And Miss Away has come from far, far back and Miss Away is gonna run by the field. Don't tell Vanessa is trying to run on with Lucent Lady up on the outside. But what a move there on the far turn into the stretch by Miss Away who pulls away to win. Lucent Lady finished second, first distinction third. Don't tell Vanessa. Finish fourth, Tormenta Dioro finish fifth, then one, ten, and one. slow for El Globo. Cannot stop goes right out to the front and cannot stop.
puts a quick length on the field. Dividend was asked for speed, but couldn't get to that lead. Now sits in second up on the outside. Come say me. Now challenging for that second spot as they move into the first turn. Tucked in is Daddy Duke. Outside of that is Stay and Cruz. At the rail behind them is Roll On Tide. Outside of that big player. Further outside is Kiddo. Second to last is Sinister Blue. And the trailer is El Globo the Gray. Cannot stop. Has the lead. Cannot stop up by a length. Come see me up on the outside in second. Daddy Duke tracking that pace setter now moves into a share. That second position now takes the second spot. Dividend is trying to get up closer from fourth. Stay in Cruz in behind that, followed by Kiddo. At the rails, big player. The far outside three wide is El Globo still second to last. Roll on tide and the trailer is Sinister Blue. Cannot stop with the lead. Daddy Duke has been right there and Daddy Duke is ready to pounce on Cannot Stop, who's being asked for the effort. Daddy Duke has taken the lead, and Daddy Duke quickly up by length. Cannot Stop in second. Stay and Cruz is running on well from third. Kiddo with some late run as well, but it's Daddy Duke at the top of the lane. Daddy Duke cornered a bit wide, and Daddy Duke still up by two. Stay and Cruz is in second, and Stay and Cruz is now coming after Daddy Duke, and Daddy Duke is stopping as Stay and Cruz has run right by Daddy Duke. Now lugging in a bit with Stay and Cruz. Daddy Duke back to second. Late run from El Globo. Stay and Cruz is going to get to the wire. First, El Globo in second. Daddy Duke third. Sinister Blue finished fourth, and Roll on Tide finished fifth in one thirty-three and three. Next January, 12 horses, a million dollar buy-in for a $12 million purse. It is the world's richest race. It is the Pegasus World Cup. start for American Cotton. Kono breaks well from the outside. Barry Carafin bits shows speed, and here comes Barry Carafin bets out for the lead. Nuclear fusion in second at Kono, wide in third. Even wider is Kid Ori, who's making a four-wide move down the back stretch. Adagio in the line is in good stocking position in the fifth spot. Tightly packed in behind that is Smokey. Rodeo Romance outside of that, and the trailer slow starting American Cotton. Scramble on for the lead, and Barry Carafin bets has the lead only by a head at Kono. Moves up well in second, Adagio just checked for a second, but Adagio is in a good spot at the rail in third, just needs a way through. Rodeo Romance is making up some ground outside a nuclear fusion late run coming from Smokey as Kid Ori is dropping back. American Cotton still at the back. Barry, Carafin bets with the lead. Ikono right up on the outside, Adagio waiting for that seam. Here comes Adagio from the third spot as it is still Barry Carafin bets with the lead. Ekono looks to be stalling a bit in second. Here comes Adagio, who looks like the main threat. Barry Carafin bets has a 16th to go, and Barry Carafin bets is finding another gear. Barry Carafin bets to win. Adagio finished second. Ekono's finishing third. Rodeo Romance finished fourth, and Smokey finished fifth in one, ten, and four. And they're off. Arcelor broke well and went out for that lead, but it's a pressured lead as Deborah's Dance has moved up, and so is Testa Ruta up on the outside. 
Now coming through is Myth America, and Myth America now puts the neck in front. Arcelor is back to fourth. Moving up on the outside is Discreet Madness, and between runners is High Grade. In behind them is Lady Be Mine. Towards the back is Negev, Uruguayan Princess, and the trailer, Tom's Lady. Myth America had to work to get to that lead, but Myth America is up by a neck. Testaruda up on the outside in second. Deborah's Dance in third. Discreet Madness up on the outside in the fourth spot. Arcelor in the pink is trying to move through with runners. It's tight at the rail as they hit the top of the stretch. It's Myth America, Testaruda, high grade, has some run coming up in between runners. Deborah's Dance down the outside. Arcelor has got to find more. High grade is trying to squeeze in between runners, and Arcelor one at the same spot. But meanwhile, Testaruda's got the lead. Testaruda, and here comes Discreet Madness down the outside, and Discreet Madness has now put a nose in front. Testaruda back to second, and it's Discreet Madness to win. Testaruda finished second. Deborah's Dance finished third. Arcelor fourth, close for fifth, and 59 seconds flat. Well, that wraps up the Friday program from Gulfstream Park West. We're right back at it tomorrow with a 1.15 starting time. We hope you can join us for another great weekend of racing in Miami Gardens. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. We hope to see you again soon. Good night from Gulfstream Park West. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.